issues. That's a good and, point, though, isn't it? That businesses shouldn't maybe isolate people by talking about their political views right now. And uh, when you see that, when I scroll through and see like random small businesses being really nasty, and I think about, are they potentially shooting themselves in the foot? Well, you know, it's really interesting social media. And I think we could probably do a whole episode on social media etiquette. I don't know that anyone would want to listen, but a lot of people probably should. should. (laughs) You know, it's because social media started as a personal thing, you know, and most people, even if you're a small business owner, their page, their profiles or whatever, were at least originally that way. Yeah. They were, they were a personal profile and somehow morphed into this business thing. And what I think is really amusing is that people have no problem promoting themselves on yeah. their profile, but they also have no problem airing all their viewpoints, even inappropriate. And you think, you know, if you had a, a physical store, you wouldn't put a sign in the door that said the things that you say on your social media account. Well, I don't think you'd put like your dating preferences and your marriage. I mean, like for real, like air out your dirty laundry and that's. That's what they're doing on the front of their business door. And this is actually interesting and related to the conversation we're supposed to have right now. Um, I was listening to another podcast um, about naming. And one of the things that they talked about was is be careful naming your business after yourself unless you are prepared to be the image of the business. And that means that your name, whatever you do, is attached to your name, of course, and your name is attached to the business. So what you do on a weekend night, random night, um, that that has consequences to your business as well. So being small business X is different than being Brad Williams business X. And when Brad Williams gets in trouble for something or says something, that's attached to the business. And so they were talking about those principles and naming, picking a name for your business. And it actually goes to this too, like... I, I don't see why people think it's I it's different if Brad Williams posts something about his opinion than if you go on our business one of our business profiles and post. And I don't think people even pay attention to which one if they have two different ones anymore. Like I actually when I post for clients, I have to make sure that I'm on the client's account instead of my account, but I'm And one- then vice versa. <laughs> yes. I don't even post anything personal anymore, which is <laughs> part of this conversation. Right. I shock everybody every now and then. What is it, about like six months? Our child grows up and there's a new picture. But, you know, you, you make a really good point. And you think about so many of us as small business owners have or have at some point driven around a vehicle that had our signage on it. And often oh, yeah. as a small business owner... The vehicle that you drive around to do your jobs in, you drive other places as well. Mm-hmm. And we're not giving tax advice on what you should no, or no, shouldn't no. do in your business car or whatever, but that's a reality. And when was the last time you thought about that everything you do on the road, your etiquette, whether you cut someone off, if you run a red light, if you speed, if you whatever. If you thinking. react to someone else being a jerk on the road. And not at good, bad, or otherwise, mm-hmm. that people are attaching your business to it. And we actually, I mean, not proud to say, had an experience where someone didn't like one of our driving, and it was probably in a work scenario, not in a personal driving scenario. But we don't bit. know because we have pers- we, we had multiple cars with logos on them, so we're not even sure which one. We don't know one. when it happened or where it happened, but somebody didn't like it. And then they went so far as to give our business a poor review because they were upset with something that happened on the road. And that's that's an analogy we should all think about. This is really interesting because... It's the only bad review we have. Yeah. The same thing has happening on your social media account. So yeah. if you're a small business person and you're posting on your business account or people associate you with your business, everything you do, people are making that association. And so if you want to go put yourself out there... And I, when I grew up... And we talked about politics. It was a discussion. And that's not happening anymore. <laughs> At least not where I see. It's not even a debate anymore. It's very ugly. And would you like to take your perspective audience, your potential clients, and automatically cut them in half? A perspective person that would pay you money, that would be a good client for you, and say, I'm sorry, I don't like you. I won't, 
I don't want you to do business with me. And that's what they're doing. Right. And, you know, no matter how strong your views are one way or the other, and I, I have to think, speaking for myself as a business owner, you can have whatever views you want that really doesn't affect whether or not I want you as a customer mm-hmm. in, a, in a transaction. You know, there are people with, now we don't, we want to work with people with good characters yes. and quality, especially in our marketing business where we spend a lot of time together. It's a big relationship or building a home yeah. where it's a long time. You know, we don't want to do business with people, but certain- If they're jerks. If they're jerks. <laughs> I, I didn't know that was, that's very straightforward. <laughs> But that being said, I don't think that that's a correlation to to their, you know, uh, where they sit left or right. Left and, or, or any demographic, really. I mean, there's exactly. not a statistic that says you're, I mean, a demographic that's like you're a jerk, but, you know, right. there is that factor. And, and I think as I think as small business owners, we have to be careful. You know, the moral of this is we've talked about this for quite some time. It's going to be its own podcast. Yeah. <laughs> is it's really best to let your business be neutral. Let your business be your business. Your business stands for other things. And maybe some people are like, well, no, my business um, sides with issues in politics. Well, you know, you have to make all those on your decisions yourself. Right. But, you know, I think right now it's, a, it's certainly something worth thinking about. And I know some small business owners in a certain industry, I'm thinking of a th- certain individual who spends a lot of um, their time voicing very controversial opinions as the face of his business, Mm, mm. his or her business. I I know who you're talking about. (laughs) And I think maybe he doesn't care what the effects are, but there are definitely effects. And he does get attraction from some people that agree with him. But um, I also am thinking of other people who may not actually run a business but they're an employee of a business, and it is their job to connect with people, and and they're vo- very polarizing, and you know I for one, I've I've stopped interacting with a lot of people that are are one way or another very very strongly, so that was part of the reason well before social dilemma that I was departing from that stuff. But it's it's very interesting how it affects your business and what you should be posting. And you just, you don't even know. I I guarantee you that there are people who are turned off by it who will never even say anything to you. They'll just unfollow you. Or they or they won't they won't shop at your store. Yeah. Or call you uh, yeah. to hire you for your service. Yeah, it'll be a while, and you'll wonder what happened to them. I think that when you think about you know a lot of what we're going to talk about is small business, mm-hmm. business growth, leadership, marketing. That's where our passion is, is don't forget the extent and the reach of how everything you do affects your marketing as a business owner or of the, your employer's business. Yeah. That your the example that you set, the things that you do and say in every arena are marketing your business. I have a good friend of ours. Um, Justin, we need to get him back on the show to talk a little bit about some of these things. But we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago, and he is sensitive to how he presents himself, his appearance, Mm. his clothing, when he's not working. Because when he goes to the store, it's in the same community that he serves Mm. for his business. And what if someone were to recognize him and he's not well kept, or he has an offensive piece of clothing on. I don't think he ever <laughs> but is you, unkept. Yeah. But the point is, is he's recognizing that in a in in that sense that he's always marketing. He is his brand. He is his brand, and yes, small businesses don't need to brand in a traditional sense, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a brand and that they shouldn't protect it. in in ways that you're probably just not thinking about on a day-to-day basis. And right now it's a very sensitive time and you've got to be ever vigilant to protect your brand. What do you want it to stand for? Yeah. And, you know, that's been a hard one for me over the last, say, six months to a year is that I I grew up, you stand for something. You either stand for something or you fall for anything, right? It's important that you have an opinion. You research. You don't just spout off things without knowing. But 
that you should have an opinion and that you have a right to express that opinion. But when I grew up, we didn't have social media and, and like to this degree. And there wasn't this divisiveness. And that was never what having an opinion meant that you were were butting heads with people continuously. And we also know through lots of research and, and study on this is that social media, you will never change someone's mind. All you're doing is saying, pick a side. Right. You're either for me or against me. If you're not with me, you're against me. Right. And that's not that's not what you want. As a small business, if you're trying to grow, that's that's not gonna work. So I've struggled with thinking, it's my social it's my account. Why can't I put my opinion out there? And to think it's become a place that that's just not appropriate anymore. Right. It's not like us sharing over, you know, a cup of coffee or over dinner. Well, that that's right. And and I think that we social media has given us an entitlement to thinking that sharing our opinion with the world it's is our, something right. that we have a right to do. And maybe you do have a right to do it, but that just because you can doesn't mean you should. Well, you have to live with the consequences. Dad always taught me it doesn't matter. You know, no matter what you do, you have to still do deal with the consequences. So now we know there's a new new game with new rules, and the rules are the consequences are different, and it doesn't get deleted. Especially if some, even if you delete it, if somebody screenshot that, you know, it lives somewhere. So yeah, Facebook reminds me of things I've posted a long, long time ago. Every now and then, <laughs> so it remembers. You know. And, and Even think, if you forget. So coming up in a future episode, we are going to do, it's already written down in our show list, uh, we're going to do an episode on the social dilemma because Absolutely. social media marketing is something that every business has to deal with in some uh, some way or another. You either even ignore if, it or deal with it. Either, even if you're not running campaigns, there are some very strong reasons why you have to still have some presence in that, even if you're like, well, my customers aren't there. Well, we're going to have a discussion about it, and we're yeah. also have a discussion about the morality of social media, and you know how how do we how do we navigate that? And I don't know that we have all the answers, but I think it's a discussion that everybody needs to be having, yeah, and uh, something to be considering. Yeah, you know, the main purpose of this show, <laughs> I, think we've, I think we've already talked for thirty minutes. We just did a podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's funny we have like our now that we're doing this with headphones um, in this season. Uh, I think it's like our radio voices have come out. We're no longer, I usually like kind of shout and yell on the podcast and it's all like, you know. Now we're like soft and salty. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> we'll get used to this at some point and, and maybe it will change. This is what um, happens when you take a long extended break from content. 2020 has been a crazy year. Is it still 2020? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Well, it, you say that. But man, is is this year just like evaporated? And you know, for us, we started out this year with this one trajectory, mm -hmm. and that has taken a big change. And you know, we've been absent from doing this podcasting thing. And I want to talk a little bit about why, why we've been absent. Okay. And uh, what's changed, and how this space will be different, and. Um, why, if you're hearing this, is it worth? Should you tune in? Should you okay. pay it? Should you pay attention? Not just click it off. Like look at these <laughs> two people just babbling about nothing. That, that I think this pivot is actually going to be a huge value increase for us. So, should we close out this one and start a new one? We we can. Okay. So, do you want to just make that a? I think we should. I think that it's a it's its own topic. The social media. Yeah, be careful. Post, uh, you are your image with your brand. So, so yeah. So, it, you you can take it as advice, or you can just take it as something to think about. But think about it. Think about the things you post, the things you say, where you say them. Well, there's some great people on both sides. I, you know, even in my own family, we have people that that grew up with different opinions, and I wouldn't be disrespectful to either one of them you know so why would i why would i cut them out of my family kind of that's kind of that's kind of the thought of it and if if you're just nasty then i'm gonna think that's who you are as a person you know so just be mindful during this that uh what is it consistency is that the the psychological trigger uh, you're not going to change anybody's mind so 
So yes. let's be nice. Let's just be nice. And and if if you can't, the best thing to do is just not open your app. Don't read them. Man, we learned this in a Disney movie when we were. Be kind. Be nice. When when we were all kids, you know, Thumper's dad told him, if you don't have anything nice to say, <laughs> don't say anything at all. And My I, advice is just don't open it. If you can't handle it right now, just don't open it. If your business needs to take a break, and that's the interesting thing I actually found over all this, you don't have to make a post over every media blow up. You don't have to, you don't have to cite an opinion, you know, and sometimes keeping your... What? <laughs> Are you serious? We don't have to do that every time. We don't have to put our two cents We've in just because something some happens. We've seen some disasters this year, haven't we? We've seen some companies really put their foots in their mouth. And sometimes it wasn't even them putting their foot in their mouth. It was someone just wanting to, to chop their head off, right? Mm-hmm. And so sometimes you should just keep your mouth shut for a little bit. Let, the, let it blow over before you just go... I had to learn that. <laughs> I... I, I I wanted to do that. And and this year, I think we've seen more than ever. It's cost some people a lot of money. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. It took you a minute? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't I wasn't with you. No. We should talk about uh, that later when we talk the, about social dilemma. Yes. This is the year of uh, uh, consequences for saying something. You know, or not in, even saying anything. It's like the twilight zone that we live in. So a lot to think about. And it's worth thinking about. Thinking about... What you do, how you do it. I don't care to tell you how to do it. Just know that sometimes the consequences are so much further reaching than that instant moment of need that you feel. To put it out there. To uh, to unleash your two cents on the world. Yeah. But we will tell people through this, I'm sure, at some point. We'll talk about what they should be posting as content that would be better for their business than... Yeah, we're going to talk a lot about that. We're going to talk okay. a lot about good ways to do that. Um, that wasn't today, maybe, but yes, I think that that's... Uh, there's a lot of good things out there, and content is so valuable. So why should they tune in to the next couple episodes? Uh, I don't remember what the next couple episodes are going to be. <laughs> I don't have... You know, if I don't have my list in front of me, I don't I don't know what the next couple episodes well, are going to be. Well, I think, one... There's a lot of noise out there right now, mm-hmm. and a lot have shifted who they're trusting because they've seen some of the stuff that uh, didn't align with them throughout this this whole thing. There's been kind of like a shaking out of, of content. Um, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table. Um, but I think we're going to keep it real, and we're going to be very raw and honest about our journey and tips and we just want to share so we want to keep this casual we don't want to keep this instructional we just want to talk about some things that have been happening that are happening and uh, ways that small businesses can come out of this whole year (laughs) and drive themselves further to growth and that's really what it's about is is driving driving forward um and so that's we're going to talk a lot about that how how to drive your business forward yeah um discussing the climate you know, this, this, this space, watch this space, this, the entire point of it is to put value into people who, um, who want to forward their business, who want to be there for the long haul. We said want to drive forward. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be here for. Thanks for listening. And uh, just, like I said, keep an eye on this space. We'll be back real soon. Bye.